Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up an automated blog update email from Mailchimp. The idea being that whenever you update your blog in WordPress or any sort of RSS feed, I believe, uh, you basically uh, Mailchimp will send out an email at whatever frequency you determine with those updates for people to check out. So the way that works is we're logged into Mailchimp here and it's a pretty simple task. All we do is go across here to the left to campaigns and we click on that little speaker icon and then we go to yeah all campaigns or whatever page, we click create campaign. Now what I'm going to do up the top here, once to search for available campaigns, I'm going to click up top, I'm going to type in RSS and you see we get share blog updates. So we click on share blog updates and I'm going to just call that share blog updates. Uh, there's the campaign name. I'm going to click begin. So what it does is it asks for a RSS feed URL. So I'm going to just pop out a full screen for a second here and go to my website. Now, generally speaking, if you're in WordPress, the feed will be whatever your dom domain name is slash feed. If you want to test this, type it in. You may get to some funny characters on the screen or you may get this uh, window asking to download. Whichever way, as long as you're not getting some kind of error, like there's nothing here or something like that, you should be able to get that feed address pretty easily just by uh, typing in feed or um, yeah, go from there. But I will pop some information below. I'll look up after this video uh, as ways you can find out where your feed is. But for now, we're gonna highlight this and we're gonna copy this feed address, go back to Mailchimp, the full screen, and we're gonna paste our feed in here. Cancel that. So this is our feed address. RSS feed address and where should when should we send? Do we want to check every day or do you want to check every week or every month? You can determine a frequency. I'm going to say every week at this stage on say a Saturday and I'm going to send it at maybe 2 p.m. Now you can resize uh, RSS images to feed the template. Yes, let's do that. And let's go down here to next. And we want to send it to our entire audience. We can also choose a segment or a tag or a group if you want to break this up into certain things. So if you've got people, you give them the option to sign up for updates and they don't pick it or do pick it, it's good to set them up in groups so you can determine that you want it only to go to the group of people who signed up for the updates. But for now, we're going to stick with entire audience and we're going to click next. And the campaign name is called share blog updates. The email subject, we're going to say, uh, latest blog posts for and we're going to leave that there which is displaying the date preview text is here's the latest from our blog something like that from name let's just say my full name from email uh, we do want to track opens and clicks i'm going to leave everything else pretty much if there's anything here you want to put here you can auto post to facebook after it's sent auto post to twitter so you've got a few options there if you want to set those up but Generally speaking, I like to keep it pretty separate. So we're gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna click next again on the right, bottom right. And now we have some templates. So we can pick a template. I'm gonna go off basic. So here it's gonna pop up. It's gonna bring our basic template up. Now, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna change this logo. I want it to look more like my actual logo, and we can set that up here. Go to text. Say below is the list of blog articles we posted this week. Save and close. And then we go over here, RSS items on the right. We drag that across and pop it in there. So you can see that's got a list from there and we're gonna click save and close. So now we've got our message introducing those articles, our RSS items over here, and we're gonna click next. You can see here, we've got our RSS feed here, our audience is sending to our entire audience. Subject line is this. Preview text is here's the latest. We check all of these options Make sure we're happy with them. And then we're gonna to go to preview and test. So I'm gonna go enter preview mode. 
So you see here below is a list of articles we wrote this week and we've got free DIY versus professional web design. So if you release four articles, it's gonna have four on there. I've had this four on another website and it just simply lists all of them on there. So it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little uh, feature, uh, something you can easily set up. And now as long as I X that, as long as I go to start our RSS, start the campaign. Now it will simply keep moving on without me. So I don't even have to send emails out to my subscribers if they want to receive updates. All I need to do is keep this turned on and once a week they receive an email uh, with my latest blog post. So that's how simple it is. And of course, if you ever want to go back and go into all campaigns again, so over here and then to all campaigns, and you can see here, share blog updates. You can pause it, you can replicate it you can once you pause it you can also delete it so you do have control if you want to turn that off so a nice basic quick video for you today uh, very handy if you're looking to save time and automate um, but yeah i hope you found that useful it's uh i find it incredibly useful for a lot of sites i have where there's a lot going on a lot of updates sometimes it's good just to try and automate some of these steps and uh, because people uh, they want to stay on top of the updates. They want to get your, they want to get your content. They're not going to be too concerned if it's an automated email. They're just happy to know this is coming through. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more like this, please um, leave a comment below if you have any questions that I may or may not be able to answer. Uh, of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Uh, really helps the channel out a lot if you like and subscribe. So I appreciate that. And um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope to see you again soon.